Almighty Father, we worship and bless your name. We give glory to you because of what you are doing for us one by one. Sure, many things, both earthly beauties and heavenly beauties, many things we shall see in this camp. You are going to glorify your name. You are going to make Jerusalem excellent beauty. Amen. You have promised it of this come, it shall come to pass so. I bless your name, Father, for this wonderful work you are doing in the lives of our brethren. In my life, in holiness revival movement we appreciate wonderfully we thank you we bless you we give you a clap offering everybody <laughs> jesus name we pray you can be seated Thank you so much. By the grace of God, we shall listen to the word of God. Titled, God's Gracious Treatment in His Holiness Movement. God's Gracious Treatment in His Holiness Movement movement in deuteronomy chapter 4 i read from verse 1 yes let me just read verse 8 and what nation is there so great that had statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day? Verse 7. For what nation is there so great who had God so near unto them as the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for. It's great, wonderfully great for God to raise up a movement like this. It's great. When the Lord spoke about four years or five ago and said, even my son Paul Ricker has not known, the, has not understood holiness revival movement, what it is. I am growing gradually to know holiness revival movement i am growing gradually to understand holiness revival movement when the lord says this is my movement This is my movement. I am holiness revival movement. And began to describe the movement in figures of speech, in metaphors. I begin 
to wonder is that so but i'm seeing it i'm seeing let me not hide this it is the truth from the lord the lord spoke i said my son my eyes are upon you my eyes are on holiness revival movement worldwide I say that statement is looking too great because I know I have a father in the Lord. I know I came out from a great holiness church. How will you say your eyes are upon me? Your eyes are upon holiness revival movement. The Lord said, what do you mean? Is it because of the scanty people that go to heaven from that church, you think it is greater than what I am saying? I say my eyes are upon you. Well, it looked great, so I kept quiet. I am growing up to understand let God be true. And every man a liar. I come to see it like that. I am seeing it. I'm telling you. I begin to see the gracious works. Gracious treatment. The Lord is given to holiness revival movement. It is like the Israel of our time among the nations of the world in their time. God gave Israel attention. So, although there were hidden countries or nations that the Lord would still be seen there doing his work but it was scanty his glory and majesty was manifest in Israel so I begin to see holiness of our movement this one thing he has said which we are also watching the rapture will meet revival in holiness revival movement. This movement shall not collapse until Jesus has come. It shall not become obsolete. The revival in it shall not die. Let us watch it. Let us watch it. God saw that many believers eventually failed to meet his standard of holiness or to continue in his holiness standard that qualifies for heaven. The reason is apparent. They do not have the habit of meditating on God's word regularly and praying sufficiently and constantly yet it the word and prayer this is the food for the spiritual soul just as food and water you eat, you drink. Keeps you going. So, he noticed that believers, many in the world, do not have the habit of 
meditating, studying and meditating on his word. And doing that continually. Even those who go to buy theological school, they may do intensive work. After theological school, they come to rest. Scarcely going back to scriptures. Scarcely going back to those books. It's just once in a while. What about prayer? How many pray? Go to churches and see there are churches where only one person stands up and summarizes the prayer those who are sleeping will be sleeping those the remaining few can be answering amen amen with wandering minds there are churches when you say let us stand up to pray the place is silent you don't hear the voice of people. There are places that have learned some gymnastic demonstration. And when they say, let us pray, they go into such candle demonstrations that has no bearing on God. So there's no prayer going on. So since there is no prayer, they are not receiving anything from God. Because of the absence of the world regularly and ceaseless prayers, they become weak and are vulnerable to satanic attacks. Hence, they fell away. They backslide. They become lukewarm. Yes. And cannot walk out the holiness required for heaven. But I'm talking about God's gracious treatment in his holiness movement. We see God manifesting in holiness movement to overcome this problem that halts the life of believers and deprives them of the holiness required for heaven. He has walked among us to help us overcome the problem of static life taunted life that is being witnessed in Christianity. People static, stagnant, stunted. They don't move forward. They are just arrested. God has done much. This agrees with him saying more people will go to heaven in holiness movement. More people will go to heaven in holiness revival movement worldwide. More people are going to heaven in holiness revival movement worldwide. He has given us wisdom to overcome these tendencies in people. 
Could he not have given this wisdom to other churches, to other men of God? Sure, but surely they didn't take it. They didn't use it. The church is open to all, but not all go to church. The minister of God's word is given to all, but not all listen to him. So, those who take it, take it. We received a message that says, God is happy with holding his revival movement because they give him liberty to do what he wants to do. He is not restricted by tradition and by the will of man. He is shown the people. See your people. Do among them, God, what you want to do. And that makes him to release himself to do among us what he wants to do. And by that, we receive the blessing. We increase in the blessing. And we receive eternal life more freely, richly than many places. Yes. Yeah. Let me tell you what God has done in holiness of our movement. Number one, he gave us pastors after his heart to teach his word with power, boldness, and wisdom. This is what God has done. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, Verse 15, Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Has God done this? It's wonderful. While in many places, they have pastors that don't know what they're doing. They don't know the word of God. Yes. They have pastors that don't know the way of God. In chapter 2 of Jeremiah, verse 8, the priest said not, Where is the Lord? And they that handled the law knew me not. The pastors also transgressed, transgressed against me, and the prophets prophesied by Baal, Baal, and walk after things that do not profit. This is what is happening in many places. But here, he gave us pastors after his heart that teach us his word in all wisdom and feed us with knowledge and understanding. Wonderful. Colossians chapter 1 verse 28 and 29 the Bible says whom we preach warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus whereunto I also labor Striving according to his walk, walking, which walketh in me mightily. Paul was a gift to the Gentile church. More than that. A gift to the church of Christ. 
Jews or Gentiles. Warning every man. Why are these people saying, hey, let them not threatening, threaten you with messages of hell. Let them not threaten you with testimonies of hell. Is that not warning? And Paul said, I warn every man. And warning every man. And teaching every man in all wisdom. Wisdom is calculating what will be effective in people's life. Wisdom is thinking how you can make these people understand and respond to the word of God. And wisdom says, tell them about hellfire. Give them these testimonies of hellfire. But other preachers said, no. Make them to be laughing. Joke with them. The church is a place of laughter. But you can, they cannot perfect the people. You make the drunkard laugh. You make the immoral person come and laugh and cross eyes to pick the woman over there. Are you, are you hearing? Does it amuse you? Boy and girlfriend communicating in laughter. Pastor has made them to laugh. But I won. It takes wisdom. To give you these revelations, they are calculated to improve your life, to increase your knowledge of God, to make you fear to do evil, or else rejoice for the good you are doing because of the hope of eternal life, the hope of the blessing. These testimonies are calculated to achieve this. It is the work of wisdom. Warning every man. Teaching every man. In all wisdom. Why? That we may bring every man perfect. Without fault. Without wrinkle. Before Jesus Christ. Using the power of Jesus Christ. So God has given us this. In Ephesians chapter 4. I read from verse 11. And he gave some apostles. And some prophets. And some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature. Of the fullness of Christ. That we henceforth be no more children. Tossed to and fro. With, with every wind of doctrine. Yes. We should be no more children. Tossed to and fro. And carried about with every wind of doctrine. By the slate of men. And cunning craftiness. Whereby they lie in wait. To deceive human beings mixed with Satan are deceivers. They know what they're telling you is a lie, but they coin it also using wisdom, the wisdom of evil, to convince you so that when you tilt, you will go to hell. Because the game is a job. Some have sold themselves to Satan, and what else are they living for but for this? To make people miss it. To make people go to hell. I have missed it. I have yoked myself with Satan. Then. I will make other people miss it. I heard of a girl. This girl had HIV AIDS. 
and she sells with uh, local drink, Kunu. I was told that she wanted to pollute the Kunu so that everybody who drinks it should have HIV AIDS. She didn't know that they don't drink and have HIV AIDS. She was just told that if you contact somebody like that, so she caught her blood and dropped it in the kuno. In the local drain. So that everybody, I'm, what, what am I? I'm gone. Everybody must go. Wickedness of men. They have gone. Everybody must go. They have yoked with Satan. Everybody. This Fulani war. Some of the people that direct them are people that are young boys and are, are people indigenous of the village where they are going to destroy. They are the ones leading them. Follow this way. Follow this way. You want to go to that place? Follow this way. Because they have bought them over. They have given them heavy money. Now they are part of the Fulani. Ready to go and destroy, <laughs> to destroy places. So they lead them. They lead them. But are you not of this village? Are they not coming to destroy your village? No, I've taken enough money from Fulani. I don't have a problem. If the village is destroyed, I have other place to go and live. So they have taken enough from Satan. They lie in wait now to deceive. But see us. God gave us ministers that walk to perfecting our lives that tell us the truth and delivers us uh, that tell us the truth and deliver us from false city falsehood for heaven's sake give a clap offering to jesus he has done us well he has done us well in holiness revival movement worldwide yes amen do you agree that the law has done us well everybody say it Say it again. In the book of First Corinthians, chapter one, verse seven. First Corinthians chapter one, verse seven. Let me read from verse three to verse nine. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God always on your behalf for the grace of God which is given you by Jesus Christ. It's grace, I say, God's gracious treatment. Gracious. Are we the only church? Are there no other churches? Why are we blessed like this? It's the grace of God. Why were you brought to this congregation, to this movement? It's the grace of God. The grace of God. Hey, great God. Grace be unto you. And peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God always on your behalf for the grace of God which is given you by Jesus Christ. Maybe a senior Christian somewhere is speaking. An ancient is somewhere speaking concerning holiness revival movement. Concerning the leadership of holiness revival movement. That I praise God for the grace he has given you. 
that in everything ye are enriched by him in all utterance and in all knowledge when those people who went to theological school to do first degree second degree third degree come to a conference like this they get lost what did we go to learn in school we have certificate but here what is going on here is beyond certificate the professor of learning comes to bow to Jesus directly not to an imagined image speaking things they don't know about wow this grace that has given us this excellent knowledge is wonderful is wonderful God is here answering every question. Ask any question you want to ask. Ask the one you think pastor doesn't know. When you finish, Jesus will take over to answer you. <laughs> I'm telling you. Then you begin to wonder, why is this man knowing everything? Doesn't God know everything? He's the one doing the thing himself. Now, practical. Pastor was preaching, but what you saw was the Lord himself. Can you raise up your hand? It happened anywhere you saw. Shake it. Shake it. Stand up upon your feet. Let people know that you, you are a witness. Pastor was preaching, but suddenly you saw another image, Jesus himself. Stand up, I say. It's, it's a worldwide business. You can sit down. It's a worldwide business. It's a worldwide business. He's the one doing this. Is it our grace to make sure nobody deceives you? To make sure that naughty problem is solved. What crushes the church does not crush this movement. He says it's his movement. Yes. That in everything ye are enriched by him in all utterance and in all knowledge, even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you, so that ye come behind in no gift. You come behind in no gift. God manifests himself in various ways. Prophetic power, everything in holiness and righteousness there's no game here no deceit yes so that ye come behind in no gift waiting for the coming of our lord jesus christ you everything is in you complete and you are waiting now for the coming of the lord jesus christ the faithful members of this movement are already settled in heaven. They are just waiting for the coming of the Lord Jesus to be there physically. The Lord has settled your case. Those who are faithful. Your name is already inside. Just waiting for the coming of the Lord Jesus to manifest yourself there. Finally. But your name has gone. Faithful, true, committed children of God. Yes. Who shall also confirm unto the confirm you unto the end that ye may be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ, the God of heaven has committed himself he will confirm he will establish these children who are faithful to him in this movement they will never backslide he will keep them until he appears in the sky yeah. 
this which the Lord is doing shall continue. If you are faithful, your case is settled. Simple. Because God will be bringing various wisdom that will help you, you will remain standing until the day of the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ. Until the day, in case he does not come, you die. Your righteousness shall continue. As you keep hearing this word, Abraham continued, Sarah continued, Jacob, the saints of all, he kept them, is able to keep you from falling. The apostles of Jesus, he kept them. Ministers down the generation, members down the generation, Christians, he kept them. Despite the power of Satan, he will keep you. He will keep us. Glory to God. I say glory to God. From 1983 to 2022, I'm putting my head down in 2023, which will make it 40 years, the Lord has kept me preaching the same thing. Preaching the same thing. Living the same life. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. The Lord has given us books written with great inspiration. Covering all the doctrines of truth, righteousness, and holiness. Anything you want to know about the Bible, the books are there. Each book is a great knowledge and wisdom. And will communicate great understanding. New, new books are coming out. This conference, before I started on Tuesday, or by then, two books would have been released. Inspired Thought on Sin has become a book. It comes under the title eradicating sin in your life and others very wonderful devotional book that you will read and over and be reading over and come back and continue and come back then the long awaited book has also come out that is Christianity and medicine it came under the title God's healing for his children through faith and use of medicine. We come behind in no gift. We are never left in ignorance. Give another clap of it for yourself, for yourself, for yourself, that you are here, for yourself, that God brought you to the holiness movement. Glory, worship him. Glory, thank you. Worship, eternity, eternal God, we praise you. Hallelujah. He gave us recorded messages to listen to such that if you are not educated to read, you can hear it. That is what God has done. And these messages, one thing is, have you had the message repeated any day? Since you entered this holiday movement, 
Have you heard that the, pre, the pastor repeated a message? The thing is surprising me myself. Thousand, more than a thousand messages have been preached. Each is separate topic. Preach it with, with wonderful grace, wisdom, knowledge, understanding. It may resemble the other, but it's not the same. That's what God is doing. It's marvelous. Hey, do you know that the leaves that are in the tree, maybe that mango tree there, each leaf has different design from the other. Are you aware? That the palm of your hand is different from the design of in the palm of your hand is different from any other creature, human creature that has ever lived and is different from every human creature that is alive now and is different from every human creature that shall ever live. Is God not wonderful? Who is wonderful? Who is wonderful? Let us praise his name. I would let us praise his name. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Wonderful work of the creator God. Wonderful. However identical twins are, check them well, there's a difference. Those who stay with them longer will tell the difference. That is God. Except, maybe purposely, a message is to be repeated. There are new, new messages. So, as you are sitting now, you are in a school that you will not exhaust the, 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 the syllabus. <laughs> Hallelujah. You hear me? What did I say? Never. Never. As for the wisdom and understanding you will be getting here. It will be increasing forever. Increasing, 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 increasing. Until you go over there. Then you shall see the perfection of wisdom and understanding. God has given us men and women with various abilities. That can do this, that can do that, that can do what, can do this. God has done it. We praise Him. People with different gifts and training. And God has given us spiritual assignment to be observed for our excellence and stability in holiness in life and ministry assignment I'm telling you hmm. women reading bible will come into where did you hear this thing from did you hear it before that a housewife was reading bible and would read in commentary A brother was rejoicing. He said, I've never read commentary before until holiness of our movement. That I, he, I, he could read Bible with commentary. So he feels very high because he's a serial theologian now. Reading Bible with commentary. Where will you hear it? What, what, what time do they have? These ministers. Who read one verse 
and, 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 and wander away from it to other places. God has given a spiritual assignment. Youths and adults are given assignment to do. The women have assignment to do annually. The ministers have assignment to be completed before ministers conference annually all these assignments center on the study and meditation on god's word and on prayers which other people cannot do and miss heaven i told you he doesn't want us to miss the heaven many are missing because they fell in meditation in God's word regularly and in constant praying. They fail and that gives, and that gives Satan ascendancy in their churches. Victory over the spiritual life. So he said, no, it will not repeat here. And by the grace of God, I picked it from him. Why didn't other ministers pick it? Leave that to them. But I picked it. I collected it as he gave me. And brought it to you. This is what the Lord has given. It's great wisdom to sustain our life. What assignment? One hour prayer every day for all people. Make sure you pray one hour every day. As the year finishes, you will have prayed for 366 and one quarter days. I mean, you will have prayed for 366, 65 or 65, 65 hours. In a year. Where is this one done? That members are put in this condition. Where is this done? Which church have put members in this condition? Except Jesus. Who knows the strength of Satan? Who knows the power of sin? Who have the record of the fall of men, the backsliding, backsliding of believers, that now said, I will keep my movement from this embarrassment. Go and tell every one of them one hour prayer. One, again, number two, one hour, 15 minutes prayer every day for those who are leaders. For those who are leaders, one hour, 15 minutes every day. This is minimum. You can pray beyond that. So this keeps your life prayer, praying. It makes you pray from morning to evening and to night. It deprives you from Sleep until you fulfill your own prayer. I'm talking to the faithful, not those who despise God's commandment. You go to hell. God has tried on you. It is what he saw in others that he wanted to pervade in your life by putting it into a commandment, but you refused. It's like a mother that Know something. Anytime you send a child, a small child, go and buy this for me. When he goes, he forgets what the mother asked him how, how to buy. So the mother said, now you are going to buy some magic, magic cubes for me. 
But take it this way. Repeat this song after me. I will go and buy magic cubes, buy magic cubes, buy magic cubes. I am going to buy magic cubes for eight naira. Now sing it. The child will sing. I said, okay, sing it on the way I'm going. Amen. Is that not the wisdom of the mother? Working hard that the child should not go and come empty handed. I said I have forgotten. The God of heaven doesn't want you to miss heaven. Because of prayerlessness, he puts it into a commandment to be supervised for your help. For your help. Seven books to be read for the year. Seven inspired books that God has helped us to write in Holiness Revival Movement. Read them for the year. This will keep you in memory of the teaching of God's word. You were given 70 CD, uh, DVD messages to listen to. You have them in the internet. 70. What is it? We have 56. How many weeks do we have? 52 weeks in a year? Is that? If you listen to two, two per week, how many? Is 104. But now it's not two, two per week, even. In two weeks, you can listen to three. How busy are you? I say, if you go to hell, God's hand is not there. Because with this reading, listening, prayer will come. I mean, so I just ask, with eating, so God's with drinking. All for you. You don't know when you will die. But this assignment can take you to heaven anytime you leave the earth. It can take you to heaven because if, if the rapture meets you. This is God's effort. Like that mother that is making effort to ensure the child does not forget the assignment. That is it. That is it. Yeah. Prayer assignment for Nigeria was also given. How many people did it? There is prayer work. There is prayer visitation. Prayer in agreement. Did you do it? The prayer and fasting were the coordinators reminding their people so that we save our nation. That all this Christian life we have built up will not scatter. If these people enter in Abuja, oh, there are people you won't see them again. You will not see them again. They will disperse. Some will disperse to be lost. Even lost from God. Pray that the Lord may tie Satan, bind Satan, and he will not do what he wants to do. Are you praying? He said, my confidence is in the Holy Church whose prayers avail, it, avail much. Do we pray? Do you pray? What's our responsibility? Our responsibility is to create time to do the assignment. Create time. Child, your mother has cooked the food for you to eat. 
All you need is to create time to go and eat the food your mother cooked for you. All this playing about. Remember you need food. You can't be playing about without eating. Stop your play. Go and carry your food. Sit down and eat it. Uh, Mommy, if you want me to eat food, as I'm playing with my friend, go and carry me from there. Is it a big boy like is it a big boy that is talking that thing? Mommy's responsibility is to provide food. Your responsibility is to eat the food. You are big, you are a big boy. God has provided the means. God has given the commandment. Your is create time to do it. Now, one hour, 15 minutes in a day. Plus, how many hours do you spend reading? On these seven books for a whole year. Let's say you spend two hours on the books. And the messages are not spending. You are not listening every day, every day. Let's say you listen to 30 minutes message. One hour, two hours, 30 minutes. Three, uh, three hours, three and a half hours. Out of 24 hours. Use this regularly for me. Is it too much? You want to play about. I have work to do here. I have work to do there. I have this one to watch in the internet. Oh, they are playing football match. I want to go and watch it. Okay, there is a, uh, there is a, some, there is what? Oh, I'm traveling. I am doing this. What are you doing? Eventually, the time comes and goes. You have achieved nothing than shame. If you go to hell, you will say, God, uh, you didn't love me. The Lord will say, shut up that mouth. I didn't love you. Did I not prepare food for eternal life? Did I not make ready that which will take you to eternal life for you? Am I now the one to come and be eating the food that I prepared for you? Or you are the one to eat it? But you refuse to eat it. Why are you blaming me that I, didn't, I don't love you? Create time to do it. Number two, overcome sleep to do the assignment. Overcome sleep. A little sleep. A little folding of the hands to sleep. Your poverty will come. Your wretchedness will come. Your spiritual backsliding will come. Your spiritual impotency will come. Yes. Overcome sleep. Stand up, move, shake yourself, wash your face, hit yourself on the wall. Boom, boom. You hear? So does when you say, sleep is gone. Put your legs in water and do it. Strike a match and bring it near your hand. When the heat hits you, say, ah, the sleep will go. You hear? <laughs> I'm taking you to the extreme. It's not that you should go and be doing and burning yourself. Hey, out together, if you do like that and go to heaven, isn't it wonderful? Yes. Look for someone to help you do the assignment. 
I cannot read. Somebody can read for you. Sit down and get the person. Pay him. Pay that person. But you can have a child to train to do it. You can have a member of the church that you train to do it. Or make them be on duty. You sit down. They are reading it for you. Because your eyes cannot pick. Since your eyes are not working, so you won't go to heaven again. Your eyes are not working. If you have pain in your teeth, you won't eat food again. So, where are you not eating? One of my, one of my teeth is paining me seriously. So, I cannot eat, I cannot drink water. Who has said so? You will manage with the remaining teeth. Because your stomach needs food. Why don't you say, why are you now saying, my eyes? Manage what you can. Do all to stand. To make it to this heaven. For there's no excuse for you. I am blind. Then you go to hell because you are blind. That's double tragedy. Overcome that. Get audio tapes and play them and be listening. Do all to obey. Yes. Buy the books of the assignment. We shall be giving you books for the new for the next year assignment. Buy them. But you are careless. In buying books. In buying messages. Hmm. Do you know. Life may flow you. Away from here. To a place where. You will not be seeing me physically. Or this your preachers. You may not even have access to the internet. In such a place. But. This which you buy and accumulate shall become your preacher. Your preachers. But you are neglecting them now. These messages we preach that burn you. Are you not thinking to have a copy? That will become useful to you in the next nine years. Nine years. We played a message. What was the title of the message? I told somebody that this message was preached in 1996 or what? After how many years? Getting to about 27 years or so. But is fresh. Many of these messages you're hearing, and some they look direct on you directly. You leave them. You are you will see it tomorrow. There are messages that when you hear, you jump up and you must pray. No, I must pray. You leave such a message. Are you not going to be weak in prayer sometimes to come to? The drug that help you in malaria today, you don't need it next year. So let's be wise. Buy these materials. Buy good Bibles. Some of you will expect, will expect that they should buy Bibles and share for you. It's because you have not valued God. You have not valued eternal life. When recharge card, how much have you spent in recharge card? And yet you want somebody else to buy a Bible for you. You have not valued eternal life. You can't buy a Bible. Get soft copies. 
of materials, books, messages. Get them. Gather these things and keep for tomorrow. Do all to ease up your life. Isaiah chapter 64, verse 7. Isaiah 64, verse 7. And there is none that calleth upon thy name that steereth up himself to take hold of thee. Steer right up. It's not easy. You must work on yourself. You must work on yourself. You must. Well, fail or pass. You have learned and experienced since you have not died. You who withdrew yourself from it completely and said, I won't do it. That's how people withdraw themselves from going to heaven. They say, I can't make it. I'm in the church, but not for heaven. I can't go there. They don't know the grace of God. That God is patient. God is forgiven. God is a helper. You couldn't make it. He's patient with you. He can forgive you. And he will help you. Just give him your heart. My son, give me thine heart. Simple. He will cause you to obey. He will teach you. He will strengthen you. God, continue your work in holiness movement. We have seen it. Yes. We have seen your gracious treatment in holiness movement to ensure people make it to heaven. May we continue to drink of this mercy of God and may we be doers of his commandment. Rise up upon your feet and go to the Lord in prayer. In the evening, bring all your results. Workers, staff in the church, bring forth your results in the evening and let them be collected for assessment, for reward.
Let your name be praised. Let your name be praised. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805 you can also reach us through our email address, holinessrevivalmovement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe
believe in you. You are the living Savior. Jesus, I believe. 